return of the side wall. It's not that difficult as you think it is. I know that players are going to play on the right or on the left because their return is terrible. That shouldn't be a reason that you play on the right or the left. I'm going to show you today that the return isn't that hard as you think. It's actually easy if you know how. So here I'm going to give you some tips in how you're going to read the ball, how you're going to make your decisions and how your technique should look in order to have a very good return of the side wall. Vamos! Hello and welcome everybody! Today we are in Oosthout with Jeroen and Sven and we're going to do how to do the side glass return and we're going to start right now! Vamos! First we're going to work on reading the ball. Then we're going to work on deciding where to play and then we're going to work on the technique. At the end of the video we're also going to show you how you can train your off the glass return very easily. So stay tuned to the end of the video. We want 600 likes on this video and we're going for 10,000 subscribers so please subscribe and like. It means a lot. Thank you. Reading the ball. First it is very important to know where your opponent is surfing from. If your opponent is surfing from close to his side glass, it is very easy to return and very easy to use the wall. We're going to show you. It's very important to know where your opponent is because if Jeroen, if, if Jeroen is there, it's easier for me to return. If Jeroen serves more from the center of the court, so more on the, the, the fifth wall, on the middle one, then it's harder for me to return. So I need to step away more when Jeroen is closer to his side wall and I have to be closer to the glass when he is serving more from the middle. the ball is going to the side ball and it's going to hit the side ball first, this first one, then I let it bounce. So it comes and I play the ball. If the ball is going to bounce here, with top spin, you can use two walls. If it's flat or slice, most of the time you take it before because otherwise you might lose the ball. So if your opponent uh, serves with top spin, the ball will come off the wall more. So sometimes you have to use two walls as well. Flat sometimes has too much uh, power and when there's a lot of power in the, you can use two walls sometimes as well. You can see it in the movement, so if somebody's pre preparation is very high, you know the ball is coming with slice. If the ball is flat, it's like the same and if somebody is going to play topspin, then the racket is low and sometimes people let the ball bounce low and then play up. And then you know that you have to use two walls. If it's raining and the glass is wet or the, it's humid, then take every single ball before it hits the side wall because if you let that ball go it's going to slide away and you never have a chance to get the ball back ho 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 merry christmas oh
a part of the decision making process that is very important this, the the decision making is more important than a technique so it's reading the ball deciding what to do and then the technique if you mix that up it's probably a reason that you cannot make a decision because you're thinking about the technique because i know you you think about the technique that's the most important thing no i don't care about the technique it's more about the decision making than the technique if you can hit the ball like this you can play the ball in with your return promise me you just have to decide when to take the ball now Jeroen is going to the net and I'm going to decide to play the ball slow on his feet. That's my decision. I don't care how fast or slow the ball comes, I play the ball slow on his feet. Because if I play slow on his feet, I have more options. If I play fast, Jeroen can take the ball from further. He doesn't have to go to the net that much. If I play low on his feet, he has to lift up the ball and I can play a lob or I can play down again. I want to be in control of the rally. If I play fast from defense, I'm gonna get a fast ball back. And in defense, that's harder. I want to play slow on the feet, then I try to take the net with the lob or with the low ball and I play chiquita or whatever you want. Vamos, vamos! Oh, oh, vamos! Subscribe on YouTube! We want 10,000! So my decision has to change when Jeroen plays Australian. So now Jeroen serves from the left and he goes to the right. So now I'm going to, instead of cross courts, I'm going to play a little bit faster maybe to pass him. Because if, if I play too slow, he might get the ball. Vamos. Bien, super bien. You care about the technique, I know that. Um, one of the most important things, short backswing, early backswing. So when you prepare, make it super tiny because you can take the power of your opponent and you want to play slow. You don't want to play a super fast return. So you don't need a big backswing and it's very difficult to have a good timing with a big backswing. So make a small backswing and I highly recommend. Sorry, got lost in the moment. Early preparation. So when you know the ball's coming to your backhand, when you know the ball's coming to your forehand, prepare your racket. If it's not there, you're gonna have a terrible, a terrible return. And you don't want that. A huit return, if I'm correct. But you can say that in Swedish if I uh, say that uh, correct. Uh, absolute, de precis, exact. When the ball's coming to your back end, turn your body and hit the ball. You don't want to do this because then you play up. So when the ball's coming, turn your body, hit and follow through of the glass. So it's not this. This is terrible for your arm, by the way. Follow through. You see my preparation is here. Wang. For the forehand side. With the forehand. Hands very close together. Preparation short. Not further than this. And hit the ball. Follow through. So turn your body, follow through. 
Don't play it like this. Turn your body, follow through, and just hit the ball. If you hit the glass, no worries, because you can buy a protector. And then hit the ball. Sometimes that's the only way to get the ball back. Vamos, vamos. A short backswing is this. This is a short backswing. So this is big, this is short. I highly, highly recommend a continental grip because if you play the ball off the back wall or the side wall, the ball might be coming from high to low. So when the ball is coming, a normal ball bounce uh, on the ground. You can change your grip a little bit. If it's from this side wall or the back wall, I prefer to keep the racket a little bit more open. That's only possible with the continental grip. Eastern grip racket open is going to be up. So if you feel like you're hitting the ball too high, that's because you're in the eastern forehand grip. Might be that you're in your backhand, that you are also in the eastern forehand grip and that the ball's going to be high as well. So always continental grip. Forehand, prepare hands close together. Backhand, prepare two hands on the racket and then go. And just hit the ball. Hit the ball. Don't be scared and hit the ball in front of you. If you are not going to make a decision, you're going to fail anyway. So just hit the ball. The biggest mistake is to not make a decision. Okay, so now we're going to practice the drill. I'm going to play on the side wall a little bit in a fast rhythm. So Jeroen doesn't have any time to make a backswing. So if I do a slow rhythm, he can make a big backswing. And now I am not going to give him any time. And he has to hit the ball uh, over the net. Um, this drill is called the machine gun. So I'm going to play super fast. Boom, 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 boom. That's, that's where it's from. And he plays with a short backswing back. Vamos. So try to have your preparation a little bit smaller and a little bit lower, and then it's way easier. Yeah, so maybe this is too big. Yeah. So maybe it's just this. So the top of the racket facing to the side wall. Yeah, and that's it. And then follow through. Except. Absolute. Easy or hard? Um, uh, hard for me. Yeah? Uh, I'm quickly going to play back there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, thank you, Jeroen, for your service. Yeah, no. For your service. At your service. At your service. I just thought of that joke. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's very good that you stick to the end of the video. Don't forget, if you don't see 600 likes, press a like so it becomes more than 600. Or to 600. Very good that you stick to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios. Merry Christmas. And... Hedo. Hedo. I, I learned that yesterday from two guys from school. Hedo. Is it correct? Let me know. Adios.